In this video we're going to look at how to solve word problems and the way that we're going to solve them is by using the rucksack method and this is a method that we've been using uh, for a week and I think it's been really really useful in helping us to solve these problems. Okay, So our success criteria is I can use the rucksack method to answer word problems, I can use the, the column method not just for addition but for subtraction as well and maybe some uh, multiplication and you would use the bus stop method for uh, any division and more importantly I can show my work. So uh, let's have a little reminder of what rucksack means. The R stands for read, the U stands for understand but in fact we actually said underline, underline key information to help you find it later on in the problem. The first C stands for choose, choose the operation that you want to use, S is when you solve it, a is when you show your answer and then finally you check your answer by using the calculator or by doing the inverse operation. So here's a word problem to solve. Okay, It says Ahmed goes to the shop and he buys a diet coke for 1.34 dirhams, a banana for 0.65 dirhams and a chocolate bar for 2.49 dirhams. How much does it cost all together? So let's read it. We've done that one. Next, we need to understand what we've been asked to do. Do we have to add, subtract, multiply, or divide, or even a mixture of these? Okay, I think I need to add. I need to put these prices together and find out how much it's going to cost all together. Okay, so how do we solve this? What I need to do is I need to add 1.34, 0 0.65, and 2.49. And then that would give me my answer. Then later in the week, what we did is we we ch had to choose the right operation. So we did, as you can see here on the board, we did this as a class and we reviewed what operation we needed to use. So it said there are 19 pine trees currently in the park. Park workers will plant 33 more pine, pine trees today. How many pine trees will the park have when the workers are finished? So what we needed to do is we found, okay, there's 19 pine trees and they're going to have 33 more. So what we needed to do is add together 33 at 19 and it gave us an answer of 52. And then I wanted to check that by doing 52 take away 19 which should have gave me, and it did, 33. And then we had, there are 29 rulers in the drawer. Melanie we placed 27 more rulers in the drawer. How many rulers are there now in all? So I underline my key information Okay, and this keyword here is more. Okay, how many rulers are there now in all? So I add these together and it gives me my answer. And then I checked it by doing the inverse. Jessica found 34 seashells on the beach. She gave Joan 30 of these seashells. So she gave them away. They are no longer with Jessica. So they have been removed from Jessica. So we thought that we needed to subtract. So we did 34 take away 30. And then to check our answer, we did 30, add 4 to give us our original 34 shells. Okay, Jessica has 60 muffins, which she needs to box up into boxes of 3s. How many boxes does she need? Okay, so we did 3 divided by 60 because she had 60 muffins in total, and she wanted to group them in 3s. So it gave her 20 boxes of 3 muffins. And then we check that by doing 20 times 3 to give us 60. It's very, very simple by using this rucksack method. So just remember to continue to use that rucksack method when you encounter word problems. And it might always be uh, written down for you, but it might be told to you as well. So think about what is the key information, and what do I need to do to solve this problem, and how can I check that my answer is correct. I hope this helps.